Trish wanted me to explain our IKEA Billy Bookcase Mudroom Hack. So, just to talk a little bit about it. We, first of all, we kind of reorganized things here. We moved the wardrobe back in the corner and then measured how much space we have and went on to the IKEA website, got the dimensions for the bookcases and also for the shoe storage, which is the Bessa or Bessa. And these are the uh, Billy bookcase shelves with adjustable shelving in it. So it makes it really easy to make it whatever height you want for your boots or shoes or bags. And also the uh, shoe case. And also comes in a three compartment model. We just got the two. So it's easy for Trish to put her bags on top. And so for the shoe case, that was $39.99 in Canadian dollars. And the Billy bookcases were $75 each. And we were able to fit four in here. It makes sense because there's four of us and it turned out uh, yeah it fit pretty good so and all right so first of all what I did oh and they also come in several different colors from the birch I believe it was white and a brown and they're all the same price except for the white the white is fifty dollars a bookcase <laughs> As for install, we uh, brought all the shelving and shoe case into the mudroom and I first of all screwed it all together. So from this bookshelf I screwed into the, well, drilled a pilot hole through and then drilled into the shoe case here and measured to make sure my screws weren't too long so that they poke through the other side. And then I attached each bookcase to itself. Just a couple sets of screws, four in total per bookcase, just to attach, the, so I guess 12 in total to attach the four together. Uh, then I further secured it to the back wall up top. It comes, the IKEA bookcases come with a bracket for attaching to the wall. So I found where the studs were, drilled into the bookcase. There's two screws going down and then one into the wall found where uh, it was level here and then tightened up all my screws so it's nice and secure kids can't pull it over it's not gonna hurt anyone and yeah and then I figured out determine the height for the shelves me and Trish based on what we're gonna shove in there but in hindsight I should have put my hooks higher so we had more room for shoes but this works out anyway and then, as Trish said earlier, went to Home Depot and bought these hooks, one for each side, and measured out where the screws would go, equally on all, I guess, eight hooks, and screwed those into the wall. Then also at Home Depot, we purchased this carpet, pretty thin and rubber backed because you don't want to get this wood wet because it's just pressed board and real cheap and it will swell so you want to keep that dry if at all possible if you're putting wet shoes in here and I cut just cut that with a pair of scissors to fit each cubby and might also put double-sided tape on the back just to keep it from slipping out if you're pulling your shoes out it might pull the carpet out as well but you might do that later and yeah, I think that's about it.